Hi, welcome to my NARS Sheer Lipsticks Ingredients Review and Demo. I love NARS lipsticks. I have been using them for years, so I was pretty surprised the other day when I noticed that they were in the just arrived category on the Sephora app. I did a little bit of research into why that was, and it turns out that the ingredients in these lipsticks have recently been reformulated. It got me to thinking, what is actually in a lipstick and what are the ingredients that I want to look for. So me being me, I did a deep, deep dive into these NARS sheer lipsticks and I am so excited to share with you what I found. I also bought seven of the lipsticks because once again, me being me. So we are going to try on together a wide variety of the colors and we're also going to just get an idea of how they feel, how they look, how we think they'll wear. Are they something that is going to be more on the long lasting side or will we need to reapply them often? We'll check all of that out together and make sure you stay to the end of my video because I am going to share with you a lip tip that is going to make a massive difference in your beauty and your health in the long run. And this is just a small lifestyle tweak, but if you start implementing it today, 30 days from now, six months from now, a year from now, 10 years from now, you will notice a massive difference and you'll be so happy you took my advice. I'm also just going to share a little bit about this cute dress I'm wearing with you. This is a dress, it's not a top, and whenever I wear it, I get so many compliments on it. I'll tell you where I got it from. I'm sure you can guess that I'm wearing it today because I'm doing a lipstick video and why this dress is so great for all body types. This will look great on you no matter what size you are because of the cut of the dress and there's something very special about it. So at the end of the video, I'll do a full body modeling of the dress with you. I'll even show you the shoes that I like to wear with it because I get a lot of compliments on those too and they are so comfortable and cute. And you can get an idea of this whole NARS lipstick look. So before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming videos. And trust me, you don't want to because I am getting more and more into these ingredients and my videos are going to help you make informed consumer decisions. Let's just jump into these ingredients. Most lipsticks are wax-based and they have emulsifiers and stabilizers to help keep the lipstick solid, intact, and to prevent it from separating. I'm not going to get into those ingredients because I feel that those are pretty uniform with all lipsticks. However, I want to know what's in the NARS lipstick that's going to keep my lips feeling just soft, plumped up, hydrated, moisturized, and not going to feel like they are drying out more and more by the minute. I'm sure we've all had those experiences where we have lipsticks and they just feel awful on the lips. So I did a lot of research into all the ingredients in the NARS lipsticks and the ingredients I'm going to highlight with you today are the ones that I think make it very special. The first ingredient we're going to look at is the Moringa Olifera Seed Oil. This comes from a vegetable tree that is found in Southeast Asian countries and in the continent of Africa. And this is known as a miracle tree because not only does it provide food, it does well in drought, it's fast growing and it contains a very special oil with many, many uses, including cosmetic uses. 
This oil has antiseptic and anti-inflammatory properties. It also contains the antioxidant vitamin E, and vitamin E is a wonderful anti-ager because it moisturizes and it really smooths out all those lines. It keeps our skin looking young and supple and very hydrated. So in this lipstick, this seed oil is being used as a lip conditioner. The next oil is the Passiflora Edulis Seed Oil. Once again, I hope I said that right. And this is also known as a maracuja oil or the passion fruit oil. It's found in Brazil and it's another wonderful, potent anti-ager. This oil is loaded with antioxidants that are all going to work together as an emollient to improve the look and feel of dry lips and to really lock in that moisture. Another notable ingredient is the sodium hyaluronate. This is one we all know and love. Hyaluronic acid is going to just lock in that moisture, temporarily plump up our lips and reduce those fine lines. Another ingredient I discovered is tocopherol and tocopherol acetate. And this is actually vitamin E, which we've just discussed is an antioxidant and it's just full of moisture and it's going to smooth and strengthen our skin. And then we're gonna have nice, plumped up, healthy, youthful looking lips. Amino butyric acid is another ingredient in this lipstick, and that is also an antioxidant, and it's going to help to decrease the appearance of wrinkles. And finally, I wanted to mention the caprylic caprate triglyceride. This is a fatty acid chain coming from the coconut, and this is going to help keep our lips intact replenished and rejuvenated. So all of these ingredients sound incredible. I was so impressed with everything I saw, except the lipstick does contain fragrance, which I really don't like to put anything with fragrance on my face. So I was disappointed with that. However, I do understand that when you mix all of these ingredients into a lipstick, it probably doesn't smell that great. So that's why fragrance is added. Personally, I would love if the fragrance came from a natural source, but it seems that it comes from a perfume. Time to start the lipstick swatches. The first lipstick we're going to try is this shade called Instant Crush, and I will be going from lightest to darkest, and this shade looks like a very light neutral pink. The lipstick feels great on my lips. It does feel like a very, very hydrating lipstick. With this light shade, I don't see bleeding as an issue. Keep in mind, I am 36 years old, and I do notice as I'm getting older, some lipsticks do tend to bleed on me. I don't see that being a problem with this shade. It feels wonderful, and I know that's because of all of the really great ingredients in the formula. Next lipstick is called License to Love. And when I picked out these lipsticks, I just tried to go for a wide range of colors and to pick ones that I would wanna use in my everyday life. I love this shade because it is just a beautiful light peachy coral type color. And I do notice that the lipstick is actually sweating a little bit. This may be something you've noticed before in your lipsticks. And the reason for that is when the temperatures really fluctuate around the lipstick, it can cause oils in the lipstick to be brought to the surface. These lipsticks were delivered to me and I'm sure in the truck it was super hot. So that changed, you know, the composition a little bit of the lipstick but they're still safe to use and it's not going to affect your health at all. And it shouldn't affect the lipstick either. Ooh, this is another great color. These formulas are so, they're just made for me. I always feel that I have very, you know, average size lips, which I'm fine with, but I like my lipsticks to have that creamy and that real kind of luminous quality to them because it does give them the illusion of being more plumped up. When I wear ones that are very matte and more on the dark side, my lips just instantly look thinner and it's so noticeable to me. This is a beautiful, I would say light to medium coral and I think it would look great on so many different skin tones. 
Now we're going to take a look at NARS Damage. All right, I just had to quickly stop the camera because as I was showing it, I dropped it and the lipstick is smushed. <sighs> Only me. But yeah, the lipstick, unfortunately, I just smushed it, but it should still work. It's just a beautiful purpley mauve with almost that my lips but better feeling to it. It looks like it would be a great transition color going into the fall season. I'm really getting that autumnal feeling from the shade. And I think that this shade would be one of those that would look good on a wide variety of skin tones. I will say in looking at my lips that I do feel that this shade would be dark enough to really start to notice bleeding. So if you are somebody that has that experiences bleeding with lipsticks, you probably will with this formula because it's so creamy and you would definitely need to use a lip liner. And this is just on the side, but I just realized the one that I damaged is actually called damage. <laughs> the next shade is called Bulgarian Rose. And I was so excited to get this one because I just love a good pink. Woo! And this is a very bright pink. <laughs> and once again, I am seeing a little bit of that sweating of the lipstick. It is quite minor. I'm sure it's because it's August and these were sitting in a hot truck for hours and hours and it did soften up the formula of my lipsticks quite a bit. So this is a true pink. It has a hint of a warm tone to it, but not that much. This almost to me is like a flamingo pink. I think that this shade is just really fun. It's great for the summertime and it just is very lively. I could see myself wearing a shade like this when I'm going out to brunch or even on a date night. It's a really pretty shade and it would work well day or night. And once again, I really am just loving the formula. It's so soft and comfortable. I cannot tell you enough just how great my lips feel with this lipstick on it. And as far as it being sheer, it's not see-through, but it's not a super duper matte lipstick. You can put on several coats to make it more opaque, but there is a bit of a translucent quality to these lipsticks, but it's slight. Sheer is, it's a slight sheer. Now we are going to take a look at the shade Living Doll. And when I was buying these, I was really in a coral type of mood because here is yet another coral shade I bought. This one has a bit more of an orange flare to it. Now with this one, I am getting more of that sheer feeling. And when I was applying it, it did seem a bit patchy on my lips. So I did have to really put the lipstick over a few times. I'm already seeing a bit of bleeding with this one right here on the corner of my mouth. So once again, lip liners would be your friend with these lipsticks. I do think this is a great shade though, and it's just a fun pop of color and looks great with neutral eyes. We have two lipsticks left, and the next one we're going to try on is Start Your Engines. Once again, this is in the coral orangey family. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought all these lipsticks, but yeah, this one is pretty similar in color to the Living Doll. So I'll try it on anyways because it looks like a fantastic color, and let's see how it goes. Once again, beautiful color, way too similar in shade in my opinion. I cannot even barely tell these two colors apart. And I'm one of those people that will say, oh, it's slightly different, go get it. If you're thinking about getting these, you only need one. And I'm almost convinced they're the same lipstick in two different tubes. Living Doll is slightly pinkier, but not much. The last shade is a different one. I promise this is called Fast Ride, and this is more in the brown family. So I wanted to get something that just was going to be great for that fall winter season, and this is dark. 
All right, so I just applied a few coats of this to really try to get the color all over my lips. And now I'm really feeling that sheer. It is sheer and it just seems to me that in some areas, the color is just a bit darker than others. And just in rubbing my lips together, I hope this will show up on the camera. I can actually see a line of pigment going through the middle of my lip. So this one looks very uneven and I think this is just the nature of the product. So now we've tried on all seven of my NARS sheer lipsticks and I have to say I really do like the formula. It's soft and it's moisturizing and it's going to give my lips just that glossy type of plumped up look. I don't feel self-conscious that my lips look smaller with these formulas, this type of lipstick. With that being said, the big downside for me is just how soft they are. These are what I would call a high maintenance lipstick. This is not a lipstick you can keep in a hot environment because it is going to really soften up the formula. And for me, I am going to have to put all my lipsticks in the fridge tonight in the hopes of helping to solidify them a little bit. If you're looking for a recommendation on a color, I would suggest going with the Instant Crush. It's just a very light shade. You can't go wrong with it. It'll look great year round and you'll really get a feel for the formula and see if it works for you. Now it's time for our lip tip. When you're wearing lipstick, especially if it's one that's glossy or high shine, your lips are not being protected from the sun. You could have SPF all over your face and body, but without anything protecting your lips, they're vulnerable. So it's very important that you apply a lip product that is a broad spectrum sunscreen. So that's gonna cover both the UVA and the UVB rays. And with the UVA rays, you could be just sitting in your house watching TV and they go right through the glass in the window and they're just damaging your lips. So I like to use the Panama Jack Dreamsicle Lip Balm. It smells great. It's an SPF 45 and I apply it every two hours to my lips. That might seem like a lot, but once you make it a habit, it becomes mindless and you do it effortless effortlessly. So I always apply this first before putting on a lipstick and I just put on the tiniest amount. You don't need to glob it on. You just need a thin layer. So this is the one that I like to use. I quickly put it on and now I've just given myself an extra two hours of protection. I always just put a lipstick on right afterwards. This is the Bulgarian rose we just tried on. And now I'm protected, I feel great, and it hasn't changed the integrity of my lipstick at all. So please pick one up for yourself. They're pretty cheap. You can find them all over stores in America and you will be doing yourself a big, big favor that's not going to only affect your health because you're protecting yourself from skin cancer, but also your beauty because you're protecting yourself from wrinkles, lines, and hyperpigmentation. All right, so now it's time for the dress. I just love this dress. It's so fun and flirty. Before we get started, I'm just gonna let you know, I'm going to put my microphone wire down. You'll see the battery pack kind of dangling around. I apologize for that. I know it's not the nicest thing to look at. I will promise I'll get a wireless microphone very soon. So I bought this dress last summer at Anthropology in Manhattan. I saw it in the storefront window and I knew I just had to have it for myself. It's very bold and it's also very feminine and forgiving. So this dress has more of a fitted bodice, but a very wide and flowy type of skirt. The dress also comes with this nice tie. So you can really tie the dress up to give you the illusion of a waist. And because the skirt of the dress is so full, if you have a little bit of a tummy, if you're feeling bloated, if you feel like you wanna minimize the appearance of your hips, all of that is going to happen because the skirt is nice and full and it's going to contrast with the more fitted bodice. 
The skirt, the dress also has this really nice collar. So it's very eye catching and it really just makes the eyes look at the collar the bodice, and then the full flowy skirt. So it hides a lot of problem areas that us women tend to have from time to time. I personally have been in, in Connecticut now for about a month and a half. I'm with my family and I have a party family. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see all the things I've been doing in my Insta stories and it's nonstop. With that being said, I have been eating like crazy and i have not exercised at all i know it's terrible i will get myself back on track when i get back to dubai but this happens to me every single summer so i love that fact that this dress kind of gives an illusion or it just has a really slimming type of look on it now i wore this dress a few months ago and it was a bit loose now it's a bit tight on me but because of the skirt, it still looks exactly the same. So this is a great style to go for if you do feel like you need to, you know, just sort of hide a little thing here or there. You'll have a lot of mileage with these sorts of dresses. This type of dress also is great for all body shapes. If you have a straight frame, you're going to be able to really create that hourglass effect with this dress. If you have a pear shape frame, the full part of the skirt will help to really even out the bottom and the top half of your body. Same with the, if you have an apple shape, it's going to help create that illusion of an hourglass by complementing your lower body with your fuller upper body. My body shape is actually the hourglass shape, so I feel like this just enhances my natural body shape even more. And I just love the dip in my waist before that full look in the hips. It's just very feminine looking. And I feel that with the shape of this dress, it's sort of a nod to older times. And I feel it almost has this 1950s-ish type of vibe. I have to tell you, whenever I wear this dress out, I get stopped so many times and women are always asking me where I got it from. Now, as far as my shoes go, I am wearing these Lily Pulitzer Pale Gold wedges these are called the Kristen Wedge and I'm wearing them in a size eight and a half. This is my second pair of these shoes. My first one lasted me three and a half years and I recently just bought this pair. I love these shoes because once you put them on your feet and you wear them a few times, you stretch out the leather and they just become so comfortable. They look great with skinny jeans, great with dresses, great with skirts, and I find myself wearing them nearly every single day. So get yourself a good pair of wedges. You can't go wrong. Pale gold is a great color because it's so complimentary to pretty much every single outfit. And you'll probably end up being like me and wearing them nonstop. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it informative, helpful. You like the ingredients breakdown. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thank you for watching. Subscribe now to Lauren O'Connell Beauty TV and let's navigate together through the world of beauty.